Welcome to the channel. I feel like this ingredient is everywhere right now. Cottage cheese. It's in mousses. It's in puddings. It's eaten as plain. It's crazy at how popular this seems to be right now. I recently did a video for a cottage cheese queso that people are watching. So today I thought I'd do another cottage cheese recipe. Let's make a bacon corn dip. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please consider hitting subscribe and let's get started. All right, this is a super simple recipe and measurement wise, you should probably guesstimate instead of worrying about exact. So I've got three quarters of a cup or so of cottage cheese. I'm using the 4% milk fat. If you wanted lower fat, by all means, you could use one of the lighter cottage cheeses. But I've got about three quarters of a cup in here, up to a cup, you know, not exact. Put the lid on this and I'm gonna blend this because I want it to be really smooth. So put that on there and just pulse it until it's totally smooth. All right, guys, it's now super smooth. Couple little bitty curds in there, but that's okay. Guys, I usually use cottage cheese like you would use ricotta cheese. Cottage cheese is usually cheaper, so I usually buy it and then pulse it down if I'm making any kind of lasagna or stuffed shells or something. So that's a great substitute and it'll save you a few pennies. Let's transfer this into a bowl. All right, to this, let's add our corn. I'm just using a can of regular corn that I've drained. The original recipe I got this from was an 11 ounce can with of corn with bell peppers in it and i have this at home all the time so i'm not going to run out and buy something with bell peppers in it so let's start off with most of the can it's a little bit left in there i'll add it if i think i need it to that i'm going to add a couple tablespoons of bell peppers i'm using yellow and red because that's what i have in the fridge the original recipe called for green onion about a quarter cup I don't have enough green onions right now to make that much. So I do have some sweet onion here. And what I'm gonna do with that is that's, you know, that's probably between an eighth and a quarter cup. So I'm gonna use that. I just chopped it up really, really finely. I'm also gonna use a couple tablespoons of parsley instead of cilantro that I saw in the original recipe. So let's put all that in there. Can't have bacon and corn dip without bacon. So I've got four or five slices of bacon, and this is just the real bacon that comes out of a bag. I buy a great big bag of it from Sam's, and then I throw the entire thing in the freezer, and I just take it out as I need it for recipes such as this. Now for just a little bit of seasoning, I'm just gonna do a light sprinkle of some seasoned salt. The bacon has salt in it, as well as the cottage cheese and the corn, so just a little bit. A little bit of black pepper, And don't tell my wife, but we are going to do a dash of cayenne. I don't want it spicy. I just want a little bit for some background heat. Now let's give everything a good mix. That's how easy it was to mix up this bacon corn dip. So I'm going to put it in a bowl for pictures, but I think for testing purposes only, I'm just going to grab some chips and we'll give it a try. Okay, let's dig in. I really like this dip. I know it's cottage cheese, but it really doesn't taste that much like cottage cheese. It's just a creamy dip. It's chunky, so I really do like it with these tortilla chips. If you have it with vegetables, you're gonna want something that's gonna be able to pick it up. So bell pepper strips, but cut them a little wider maybe. Cucumber slices, um, carrots, maybe cut them into planks. But taste-wise, it's really good. The corn is sweet. The bacon has some salt. I actually could add a little bit more salt to this, I think. I am excited to put it in the fridge for an hour or two. I think that's really gonna enhance everything and the flavors are gonna go throughout because I'm not getting a lot of the onion taste yet and I do want that in the background. It's high in protein because the cottage cheese has a bunch of protein in it, so you're not getting all, you know, the, the fat calories from like sour cream and mayo, you're actually getting some protein out of this. So guys, 
bacon corn dip made with cottage cheese. What do you think? Are you guys on the cottage cheese bandwagon right now as well? Do you not like cottage cheese? Would you rather have ricotta? Would you rather have a dip with sour cream and mayo? Leave all those comments below for me. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.